So a random process x of t is said to be strict sense stationary process if its nth order nth order Jordan property with the function okay does not change with time or shift in time. So nth order joint is probably density function does not change with time or shift in time. Then what is this called? This random process is called strict sense stationary random process. Okay. Can you tell me what is nth order joint probability density function? We will be having n random variables here. Okay. So that is x1, x2, so on. Xn at time instance t1, t2, so on. Tn. Okay, it does not change with shift in time. Okay, that is fx of x1, x2, so on, xn. Okay, t1 plus delta t, t2 plus delta so on, tn plus tn plus delta. Okay, it does not change with time. Then this random process is called strict sense stationary random process for all values of p1, p2, so on, dn and delta. You can take any value for p1, p2, so on, dn and delta. It does not change. Okay. So then that particular random process whose probability density function is satisfying this condition is called strict sense stationary random process. Okay. And what is the strict sense stationary process? So you take any random process, okay, which is stationary. It is stationary for all values of n, for all values, for all orders, okay, first order, second order, like this, for n orders, okay, for all orders, if it is stationary. Then it is called strict sense stationary. What is another condition for strict sense stationary? The random process, whichever we are considering, should be stationary for all orders. That means n is equal to 1 to n. For all orders, it should be stationary. Then this particular random process is called strict sense stationary random process. Okay. This strict sense stationary random process is also called nth order. It is also called nth order stationary process. Okay. And uh, for that, here the strict sense stationary process is also wide sense stationary process. Okay. Strict sense stationary process is also wide sense stationary process. Okay. And converse, converse is not true. Here also, what is that? Converse is not true, but wide sense stationary is not strict sense stationary, converse is not true, the vice versa is, vice versa is not true, okay. Now for example here, the stationary condition of a random process x of t is satisfied only for k orders, it is satisfied only for k orders, when k value is less than or equal to n, then this is called K order, it is called K order stationary process. Okay. When we call it as nth order stationary process, it is stationary for all n orders when it is called nth order stationary process. For example, it is satisfying only stationary condition only for k orders. What is k value? K is less than or equal to capital. Then what is this called? K order stationary. Process. Okay, this is our strict, strict sense stationary process. What is strict sense stationary process? The it is a satisfying stationary condition for a, all orders where n is equal to one to n. Then the random process is called strict sense stationary process. And what is one more condition here? The nth order joint probability density function does not change with time. Okay. And what is strict sense stationary process is also called wide sense stationary process, but converse is not true. Okay, so the strict sense stationary process will satisfy all the conditions of wide sense stationary process. Okay, what are the conditions? That is the expected value of a random process will be 
equal to constant, it will satisfy this condition. And what is the other condition? It is also satisfy the condition that the autocorrelation function is independent of t. It depends only on time difference. What is tau? Tau is called time difference. Okay. So the strict sense stationary is also wide sense stationary, but converse is not true. 